Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce you is the Sony 4K compact camera, which is the PXM-Z100. So, okay, so this is the first um, Sony compact 4K cameras. So I will talking about like maybe some like maybe special features for this unit. Okay, so let's talk about like maybe the, the, the common stuff. So they also got the, uh, the 20 times uh, zoom and then uh, from the G lens from Sony. And then the operations and also the menu is more similar to, uh, to the uh, to the uh, um, to the Sony professional camera light, maybe XA, uh, a, uh, um, the uh, the NX the NX three and X NX five. So other than that, let's talk about something fast special. Let's talk about the um, the media. So at this moment, they do support the XQD format. So you have to be careful about like the XQD format. They have S series and also X series. So the one I got S I got the is X series. But be careful, you have, if you're using this camera, you have to buy the S-series, which is the faster um, speed for the unit. So if I put the X-series, what's happening? So when I put it in, and then the screen, the, the, the camera will be, will be set, okay, oh, it's not guaranteed media. So that means, okay, they can still let you record it, but maybe they will not guarantee maybe it's something drop out or maybe stop in the, in the middle of time or something else. And then, so that's why, remember, you have to buy the XQD S series, not X series. So other than that, you will see there is another, another sort for uh, the SD and memory stick. So this is something, if you do the update, maybe uh, later they have a firmware upgrade and then which they can record the uh, XEVC 4K long god and also the uh, 420 MF4. So we were talking about the, uh, um, the compression format in between this. Especially this is a huge difference in between the professional versions and also the consumer versions. So okay, this is a media. And then other than that, this is um, um, this is the MPEG versions. So you can do the PAL and also NTSC on the uh, 50p, 60p, 30p, uh, 25p, 24p. So other than this, and then um, you can actually just like um, you can oh talk about like the um, the output. Okay, so you will see um, the HDMI and also um, the, um, the BNC SDI, but unfortunately the SDI only support the 3G SDI HD. So if you want to get like a 4K output direct from uh, maybe a 4K monitors, the only choice you can get is the, is the uh, HDMI. So this is, you can also choose the HDMI to go to 4K or maybe you can go for the, uh, uh, for the HD, but you can actually set in the menu. So this is the only media. This is the only output you can get for the 4K. Okay, so you can still got like the AVC, uh, the the AV output, which is maybe very common. They still using the MPF 970 series, uh, MPF series uh, uh, batteries. So other than that, let's talk about the compression, the compression for the file formats. So for the uh, Z100, the file format is talking about the XAVC 4K 422. Um, Format. So the um, their lowest compression is talking about 600 mat bit per second. So I mentioned about maybe uh, uh, the XAVC 4K long god, which is the uh, for the consumer versions. So the compression rate for the long god is only 150 mat bit per second. So you will see a huge difference in between the the uh, uh, the professional versions and also the long god version. So you see. 150 mat bit per second for 4K compression. So you can imagine maybe how good the color and also the image is. And also, everyone know that maybe um, there is some limitation of, the, of this camera. Especially you know that this camera, the sensor is only one and uh, 2.5 and a half inch, maybe uh, so one stroke 2.3 inch sensor. So what is it? So the size is actually smaller than a half inch CMOS. So you can imagine, okay, such a small size of a 4K sensor. How can you get like maybe a, 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 a very good and also a very light, maybe a, 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 a nice image through this kind of sensor, especially you even put on like a very high compression on it. So that's why I, Definitely strongly recommend maybe you, you to buy the uh, the consumer versions. Okay, so please. Okay, hopefully Sony is not going to to watch this video. So otherwise they will hate me. And uh, okay, so strongly recommend to 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 buy maybe uh, the professional rather than the uh, consumer versions. And then 
The other things you have to consider is the XAVC Long God is only two software, editing software can support, which is the EDS and the Vegas, which is from Sony. And then for the uh, 422, XAVC 422, which is the same uh, file format as the F5, F55, and then they can support for most of the uh, uh, editing software. For example, like EDS, uh, Vegas, Premiere, Final Cut Pro X, and also Avid. So that's why when you're doing the edit for the 4K, this is actually more user-friendly and also more easier than the, um, than, than the consumer versions. So, but uh, it's true, everyone know that Maybe uh, that is a limitation. First, the low light, I think maybe this is a something which maybe a little bit light, maybe disappointed on, or on a hope. Maybe in the future, they will do some improvement. And uh, if you compare with like maybe uh, the high-end stuff, the F55 or even like maybe uh, the, uh, the FS700, I think this is sometime, this is something which is not fair because the, for the sensor size and also for the, uh, for, for, the, uh, for the target audience for this unit, this is total different like maybe feel. So um, if you want to know more about like this um, Z100, please visit Ines website.